Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Night Guy here. This will be my last recording at this location. This is my cold steel. Uh, they call it the soldier's targe. But I would really call it a mini buckler. This is a quick unpackaging. Uh, not really unboxing, I kind of skipped the box. Uh, you know, we already cut it open. Unpackaging video, just to show you. I didn't feel there was anything uh, too great to show about the box. Whoops. And there we have it. That's what it's going to look like in hand. The targe particularly properly used during the late 14th century. Okay. A little warranty information. And another showing of the shield itself with the cold steel logo. Let's get it out of the package. And there you have it. This is honestly my second of uh, this piece that I have ordered. It did take a little scuff there, but that was probably just recently when I dropped it on this concrete floor. Uh, so totally my fault. But um, this thing's meant to take a beating. It's going to take a beating anyways. Um, I definitely have tried the first one that I ordered and put quite a beating on it. Here's some safety disclaimers on there. Um, not for Houston training against metal weapons. However, you know, I would say it's definitely not recommended, but I think this thing may even be able to stand up to some blunted metal weapons. Blunted, that is. Not sure. But don't use me as a uh, good recommendation for that. I always tend to push the issue. I do really like the handle. So I would say this is definitely more like a buckler, not a targe. Sits at about 19 inches in diameter. Um, as far as using it, I had a lot of fun. It took quite a beating against pole arms as well as swords. Um, doesn't offer the most coverage, being that it's only 19 inches. But a good amount to protect, especially in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um and still leave you room where it doesn't really impede your offense. Uh, but very soon, I will be demonstrating uh, usage in this, me and the guys. All right, thank you for watching, Nike here.